Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the Top 10 Historical Traitors. Number 10. Guy Fawkes Guy Fawkes was part of a revolutionary group of Roman Catholics who plotted to blow up most of England's aristocracy in 1605. The infamous gunpowder plot was foiled by authorities who caught Fawkes before he could carry out his murderous intentions. He was apprehended due to his attire of cloak, boots, and spurs, a suspicious costume designed to ensure a quick getaway. Fawkes and his colleagues worked hard at their plot, using a cellar under the House of Lords as their base and hiding over 1,800 pounds of explosives in the small space. Fawkes and his co-conspirators wished to loosen the influence of the Spanish Kingdom on British affairs, feeling that they drained resources from England. Guy Fawkes believed in his ideals, and he didn't break even under torture, refusing to name his comrades until he was sure they had already confessed. He was sentenced to be hung, drawn, and quartered in 1606, but foiled authorities by jumping from the scaffold to his demise at the last minute. Even in death, he was crafty and mischievous. His story is referenced in the film V for Vendetta. To this day, the rebellious acts of Guy Fawkes are legendary, and in England we have a special event every year called Bonfire Night, which is held on the 5th of November. It celebrates the failure of the notorious plot. Number 9. Robert Hansen Hansen grew up in a dysfunctional home, suffering abuse at the hands of his father. He started a career as a police officer in Chicago, but left to pursue employment as an FBI special agent in 1976. Hansen had strange proclivities. His interest in videotaping his sexual activities with his own wife and showing them to neighbors put him well outside of the mainstream. In 1979, he became involved with FBI counterintelligence, and this paved the way to some of the most treasonous acts in American history. In 1983, Hansen transferred to the Soviet espionage unit within the FBI. Using his vast knowledge of computers, wiretapping, and electronic surveillance, he went on to sell lists of FBI double agents and other moles to KGB agents for large sums of money. Hansen was turned into the FBI by his own brother-in-law, Mike Hauck. He is currently serving a life sentence in solitary confinement at ADX Florence, a supermax facility in Colorado. Number 8. Jane Fonda Jane Fonda grew up as Hollywood royalty, surrounded by luxury and privilege. After an easy entree into the acting world, greased by family connections and her own good looks, Jane became a passionate activist, involving herself in causes that were controversial and, in the eyes of many American veterans of the Vietnam War, including John McCain, highly treasonous. Hanoi Jane sympathized with the North Vietnamese, posing with their anti-aircraft guns and questioning American POWs through her comrades the North Vietnamese about the benevolent treatment they were receiving from their captors. The soldiers tried to explain to Fonda that they were in fact being ill-treated and sometimes tortured, but she didn't believe it. Some soldiers claim they withstood more torture and suffering because they would not speak to Jane and parrot the viewpoint that their captors were kind and peaceful. Many veterans tried to bring Jane Fonda up on charges of treason after the war, but as some rich and famous people tend to do, she managed to escape any real punishment for her role in supporting the enemy during the Vietnamese conflict. She says now she regrets her act, but veterans of that conflict have yet to forgive Hanoi Jane for her easy embrace of the enemy. Number 7. Brutus Julius Caesar, the self-appointed dictator for life of the Roman Empire, was a leader whose tyranny led to his assassination. He had many enemies in high places, including a group of senators who conspired to kill him with the help of his own nephew, Marcus Junius Brutus. Brutus joined the Senate in Rome after an early and very lucrative career as a moneylender. On the day of Caesar's assassination, there were rumors that the plot had been discovered, and many of the conspirators were wary of carrying out the plan. Brutus's own wife pleaded with him to stay away from the Senate that day. Brutus was undaunted, though, and he went to lie in wait for his uncle, along with a group of senators who then attacked the dictator with their bare hands. The famous quote, Et tu Brutus, was uttered by Caesar as he took in the depths of the betrayal by his own nephew. The assassins attacked Julius Caesar so savagely that they themselves were injured in the melee. Brutus committed suicide after losing the Second Battle of Philippi in 42 BC. Number 6. Wang Ji Wei Considered the greatest traitor in Chinese history, Wang Jiwei was born in 1883. When he turned 21, he went to school in Japan where he encountered Sung Yat-sen, a famous Chinese revolutionary. Under the influence of Sen, he began to participate in plots against the government, including an aborted assassination attempt on the Manchu regent in Beijing. Wang stayed in prison until the Wucheng Uprising in 1911. After that time, Sun remained his mentor. Sun Yat-sen's Guangdong government rose to power in 1920. When Sun lay on his deathbed in 1925, Huang was chosen as his successor. Huang could not hold on to power, however. Jiang Jishi's military faction usurped him the very same year. 
When Nanjing fell to the Japanese in 1937, Huang began his traitorous dealings with the Japanese government, earning his place in history. He supported Japan's plans for an armistice in a notorious telegram that led to his expulsion from the Chongqing government. When China was in crisis and needed him most, Jingwei took pains to ally with the Japanese and go along with its invaders. Huang died before he could witness the defeat of the Japanese by Allied forces in World War II. Number 5. The Rosenbergs Selling atomic secrets to the Russians during the Cold War is about as treasonous as it gets. The Rosenbergs were a married couple willing to do anything to further their communist beliefs. Julius and Ethel Rosenberg were affiliated with the Communist Party quite openly until 1943, when they suddenly seemed to retreat from any political activity. This was the same year that they joined forces with Soviet super-spy Felixov. From then on, Julius Rosenberg was heavily involved in espionage against the American government. He acted as a mule for covert information exchanges with the Russians, and sought out new recruits to betray and spy for the USSR. He was arrested as he shaved one morning in 1950. He and his wife Ethel were executed on June 19, 1953. Number 4. Benedict Arnold Benedict Arnold was an American general who served the cause of the American Revolution until he decided to switch his allegiance to the British. Born in Connecticut in January 1741, he came from a troubled background, where his family struggled to survive poverty and hardship. Always known as a troublemaking child, he grew to become a prominent figure in the military, where he trained soldiers and planned out attacks. From an early start as a war hero and patriot, Arnold plotted to turn over the American fort at West Point, New York, to British forces during the American Revolution. His plot was unsuccessful, and he was driven to escape by sea under cover of darkness to Britain, where he was not welcomed with open arms. They too distrusted the man who would betray his own country so readily. He died in poverty in Canada in 1801. Number 3. Aldrich James Ames entered the Soviet embassy in Washington in 1985 and offered to sell American secrets for one reason only – money. He was an alcoholic with a very expensive second wife, a woman named Rosario, who burned through his paychecks from the CIA with alarming frequency. In order to give the woman he loved the lifestyle she demanded, he was willing to do a lot of damage to the U.S. government. By releasing the names of American spies and other counterintelligence information, he compromised over 100 United States military operations. Thanks to Aldrich, who earned about $4.6 million for his efforts, 10 Americans were executed because their covers were blown. In time, he revealed the names of every U.S. agent in operation against the USSR. His lavish lifestyle raised red flags for the CIA, and he was arrested and convicted to life in prison. His wife, Rosario, was deported to South America. Number 2. Vidkun Quisling Considered a lunatic right-winger in his native Norway, Quisling went unnoticed until forming his National Unity Party in 1933. He adored Hitler and was a firm believer in the doctrine of fascism. Quisling, a military general, met with Hitler and made sure that he had all the information he needed about Norwegian military strategy, so that Hitler could secure the occupation of Norway. When the Germans invaded, Quisling was appointed as premier as the deposed government officials scattered and ran, trying to stay alive. The citizens of Norway were disgusted by his appointment and rebelled until he was forced to step down. Nonetheless, Hitler had him reinstated that November. A failure and a weak politician, Quisling often made a fool of himself, even in the eyes of his Nazi collaborators. After the German surrender in Norway, Quisling was tried and convicted for the deaths of a thousand Jews, along with other war crimes. He was executed in 1945. Number 1. Judas Iscariot According to the Bible, Satan entered Judas before he betrayed the Son of Christ to Roman authorities. This infamous member of the Twelve Apostles betrayed his friends for money alone, 30 pieces of silver. Judas arranged a special signal to let the authorities know the identity of Jesus Christ. He would kiss Jesus to identify him. This Judas kiss led to the prosecution and death by crucifixion of the Son of God and puts Judas Iscariot as the number one most notorious traitor in human history. Judas died shortly after his monumental act of greed. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Big button on the screen now, as well as a link below the video. And thank you for watching.